Namaste, Recovery Warriors. Julie Norman here, Body Image Guru with BodyArmyHealing.com. And a big welcome to you into my new blog series for Recovery Warriors, Pose of the Month. If you watch any of my other blogs, The Big Down on Body Image, or you know it's all about yoga, practicing yoga to help enhance our recovery. So I encourage you to grab a yoga mat, a couple of blocks, a folded blanket, and join me once a month to explore a new pose in yoga. The way pose can help you to settle negative body image, anxiety, depression, build confidence, help physical health issues that come along with the eating disorder and all kinds of benefits <laughs> to yoga and I want to share as much of that with you as possible but just in these simple little doses month to month so come on down to your mat with me and we're gonna start with just a couple warm-ups before I introduce you to the pose of the month now you usually see folks begin a yoga practice here in a seated position where it's comfortable for you to sit Prop up on a blanket for more comfort in your back. And just start to circle around for a moment. Come right into just moving the spine. The spine is a foundational part of the body, the skeletal system, the nervous system, the muscular system. So we want it to be fluid and flexible. And often posture is a challenge we're struggling with the eating disorder we kind of want to close down the spine gets out of alignment so warming up the spine because our first pose is going to help us build a better posture so just wiggle around here start to draw in some full deep breaths the more anxious you are the harder it is to breathe the more you want to practice in through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then as things settle a little bit, it might be easy to just breathe in and out through the nose. Beautiful. A couple more circles here. Ease into the shoulders, head and neck. And then bring yourself tall and place your hands like this behind you on the ground, leaning back, open the lower body. And just a few very gentle windshield wipers, dropping the knees side to side, rolling along the soles of the feet. Beautiful. So as I share each pose, I'm going to talk about the Sanskrit name, the meaning, show you the physical positioning, how to be in the pose in a safe and effective way. We're also going to talk about the energy of the pose, the message of the pose, the metaphor that will help not only when you're practicing it in the moment, but as you're living your life off the mat. Go ahead and sit up. And we're getting ready for our pose of the month. Come into a quick table pose. Move your blanket out of the way. And table pose looks like this. We've done it in some of my other videos. Just in your hands and your knees. Then we're going to set right up into the pose of the month. Hero's pose. So bring your thighs together. Knees in. Take your feet just a little bit wider them hip width apart and start to sink back I just want you to feel here almost like you're going to child's pose if you're familiar with yoga it's another pose we've done in other videos and just play with moving into a kneeling position and see how your knees and your quadriceps feel if you start to feel any pain any intense discomfort just doing this I want you to grab your two blocks and create a little stool for yourself between 
your feet right between the ankles. You can go both blocks on the flat side or you can stack the second block a little higher as an option. And you're going to play with this. Again, just sink back. Try to get your sit bones, the base of the pelvis, to the blocks. If this is comfortable, again, you can come up taller. You can also prop up taller with a blanket. Just want to make sure those knees are happy. So, bringing yourself into sitting, and just rising up nice and slow into the pose. Roll the shoulders up, down and back. Line your shoulders up right over your hips here. So the hip joint, we're not talking about the fleshy part of the hips, we're talking about that skeletal structure. And I know even talking about that and with eating disorders, body image and focusing on seeing bones and talking about bones, that can be a trigger point. Here along the path of yoga, we're bringing our awareness of the body back to a functional level as it applies physically and then spiritually the body as our home. So it's okay to talk about and explore the physical body. So here is hero's pose. Couple points, again, if the knees hurt, come out of the posture. While yoga is for everybody, not every pose is for every body. And I gotta be on my camera. <laughs> and um, one pose may be okay one day, it might not be okay another day. So be open to skipping things. It's not any fault of yours or your body if a pose is it for you. Sometimes the tops of the feet can be a little tender in this pose. I have a couple extra props here, two rolled napkins. And if the tops of your feet hurt in this pose, you can put rolled napkins under the fronts of the ankles. Try that. So this is a pose that you sit in, which means you get there and you just let yourself be there. I was showing this pose to a mountain biking colleague of mine and we got her in the pose and all of a sudden she's like, okay, what do I do now? I said, you just sit, which is hard for her. She struggles with anxiety, struggles with a little bit of body image stuff to just be still is really hard, but that's one of the gifts of the practice. So a couple ways to ground the mind more as you hold the pose. Hands, palms down to the thighs. And yes, that can be triggering for body image, but energetically it's grounding. And you just draw into the breath. Close your eyes or gaze out to the top edge of your mat with just a soft eye. Once you're in the pose, letting everything soften as much as you can without slouching, without losing the structure of the pose. So the idea is to get in the pose and then let go as much as you can. Just close your eyes and breathe here as I share some of the benefits of the pose. This is a beautiful, gentle stretch for the quadriceps, the top of the thighs. This pose helps the knees to be healthy. So if you've maybe struggled with a lot of compulsive exercise, this is a very restorative pose for the knee joints. It totally relaxes the hamstrings which again, with too much exercise and also with anxiety can be very tight. The muscles in the back of the thighs can relieve back pain. So here, just letting the back relax with a nice light heart. It teaches you correct posture. We do have a natural curve at the low back, opening the low belly, that Shakti center, divine feminine power center. 
opens the heart instead of closing and protecting ourselves, being in fear mode, challenges us to lift and open. Another idea with your hands is to create what's called Dhyana Mudra. Bring the right hand into the left hand, touching the thumbs. That's a meditation mudra. Dhyana means meditation. And a nice point of reflection as you're in the pose is what does hero mean to you? This pose is called Virasana in Sanskrit. Vira means hero. Asana means to sit. And contrary to what the mind will tell us, something that builds inner strength, courage, perseverance, is meditation, is being still. Nice and grounded here, letting ourselves feel, courageously feel, whatever arises as we Stop with the perfectionism. Stop with moving and pushing our bodies. Stop with doing and trying to earn our worth in the world. In yoga philosophy, we are our own heroes, our own gurus. Yoga leads us back to the teacher within, the true self. Not the false self, the worried mind, which the eating disorder is a great example of. Breath by breath, allowing what you feel without reacting empowers you on your path of recovery. You are your own answer. Your own coach, teacher, guide. With an open heart, with love towards yourself, Breathe deep and feel into that strong essence within. Take a few more breaths here. Drawing your hands up to heart center. And from this pose of empowerment, repeat the affirmation out loud to yourself. I am a hero. And taking your time to release the posture Take a big sun breath, reach up. As you bring your hands back down, float them forward, come through that table pose and just stretch one leg out behind you at a time. Wiggle the hips side to side. And then I encourage you to spend a little more time on your mat. Take a few minutes each morning just to light and affirm your worth, your light within. Connect with your body compassionately, understanding that she's on this journey with you. She's not out to get you. That you are divine. Feel free to connect with any questions, comments. Warrior.